Hello, traders. Today we're going to talk about the hanging man candlestick. Um, this uh, candlestick has a very small, uh, very small body, a very short or um, absolutely no uh, upper shadow, and a very long lower shadow. And um, the longer, the better, actually. Um, it, the longer shadow, sorry, the lower shadow must be at least three times, two, three times uh, bigger than the candle's body. And this candle appears on the top uh, of an uptrend, and it is uh, used to um, it is used to signal uh, the beginning of a uh, downtrend. So basically, it means, and I guess you spotted already while talking about this candle and also this one. It, is, it basically means that the trader started to sell already and no one is buying anymore. We have a, a buy, 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 buy before and suddenly the uh, trader started to sell and at this point the trend might revert. And uh, basically it's, a, it's another dodgy uh, candlestick. So again, what do we need? We need an uptrend. Sometimes there is a gap. If it is a gap, uh, especially after the hanging man candlestick, I guess it's even better. The signal is stronger, the sell signal is stronger and um, a little more precise. Um, I wouldn't trade exactly after the hanging man, I'll wait for the confirmation. Um, in this case, uh, this, uh, this bullish, sorry, this bearish uh, candlestick that, uh, that forms after the hanging man. That would be your confirmation. And then after that, I guess you can uh, consider entering a sell, <coughs> depending on the other signals or uh, um, if you if you are considering other indicators or not. Um, now, just mind that the hanging man appears, or it, the, the the candle that appears on top of an uptrend is called hanging man, and the one that looks exactly the same but appears at the bottom of a downtrend, it is called hammer, and. Uh, well, the hammer does exactly the opposite. It, it uh, signals the possible beginning of an uptrend. Now, I didn't find uh, so good examples. I didn't have time to find so good examples of hanging man, uh, <laughs> hanging man candlesticks on my chart. But I did found something. And this is this. This is a hanging man, actually. And uh, it doesn't have to be the highest candle. It just needs to appear in an uptrend, and after that, uh, well, a downtrend my my uh, a downtrend my start. So there was the uptrend, the hanging man right there, and then we had a downtrend. Not so big, but still a downtrend. And I found another one right here somewhere. We have some dodgy here, some indecision, some other downtrend my form. Not talking about that. Where was it? Um, right here. Actually, here the hanging man. <coughs> excuse me. The hangman form um, after the downtrend form, to be honest. But it is still a hanging man, and there is still some kind of uptrend right there. So let's consider this a, a hanging man as well. Uh, it qualifies. <laughs> All right, that much about the hanging man. Uh, sorry, I didn't have time to find other examples, but I think you uh, got the idea. Uptrend, hanging man with long, uh, long shadow down, and then a downturn might form. Good luck trading, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.